Okay, so here we are at the second batch of photos that I need to sort through. We got about halfway done with them last time, so we have about that many more to do. And this is picking up at the photos that I started to take at the miniature golf course. These are just some establishing shots. Okay, let's move through them. These are all very similar. Just checking my lighting and stuff. Then I saw this group of people. And then basically, from where I was standing, I was just turning around and the track was right below me. So I was concentrated on this track for a while. The go-karters are coming around a pretty tight turn and getting ready to go into another tight turn at this section. So they're coming from up here and coming around and coming through. You can see some of the miniature golf course comes down and they go over this bridge and come down. So it's kind of neat. You get to watch the go carters as you do the miniature golf. Then it goes around the tight corner and comes back around this way, goes up the hill. So I'm catching as many shots as I can here. And these are really wide, but I wanted them wide so I could crop in if I needed to. And that'll help me with any kind of potential composition I may have later. I'll have plenty of space to work with. So I'm going to keep all of these, except there was one that didn't have anybody on it. This one here, I can mark that as rejected. Okay. So now I've walked a little bit further down, and I'm shooting underneath this bridge as they're coming down the hill. Again, underexposing a little bit so that I get a greater depth of field. And I can brighten those up later. And there's nobody here. Okay. So now I um, talked to the people who were playing the miniature golf and asked if I could shoot some photos of them playing miniature golf. And they were very happy to let me shoot. So. I don't know that that's terribly in focus. That may be a problem. That was a little bit better in focus, I think. I missed that shot, but that's nothing. Okay, so here is this guy winding up to tackle the next course. hits the ball. And this is a great shot. I really like that. I'll probably use that for something. In fact, I'm going to mark that five stars. So I remember to come back to it. And this lady shot. And went around and got from this angle. It's kind of neat. You can actually see the ball is off the ground there. And I got another angle for this guy. Then they had a nice little grouping here of the golf balls. While they were 
walking up and repositioning themselves, and then this guy shot. They look kind of like Easter eggs. So here we are. This guy shot. I got the ball going right in there. That's good. He sunk it. And this person shot. They sunk it. And this person shot. They sunk it. And then this guy. And he sunk it. It's very happy. That's another really good shot. It's kind of ambiguous as to what he's doing, but he was very happy. And this lady shot and did not make it. She was very sad. And then there's some fountains in the miniature golf course. So I took some photos of those. Which, for some reason, these are out of focus, I think. I have to check on those. Then I got some little kids. I asked the parents if I could shoot them. They said that was fine. So, even though everybody shoot... Even though everybody signs a photo release when they enter the park, I figured it was good to ask, just out of courtesy. Some more fountain shots. Don't know how useful they'll be, but it's kind of neat. Okay. So this is a different view of the paddle boat, so I'm kind of shooting between this building that's supposed to look like an old miner's camp. And this is a um, miner's cart here on the edge with some tracks. So I'm kind of shooting through that. This lady had her arm up the whole time. She didn't put it down. So. I was trying to get a different view from the different shots I've gotten before. So here's the mine cart. It's a pretty neat little set they have there. But this has nothing in it. Let me recheck that. Let me recheck that too. There's not much going on there. That's a little better. He was trying to figure out how to work the boat, and these people were telling him how to do it. Okay, then we have some rock climbing. I think these came out pretty well. A little overexposed there, but you can see him reaching for the next handhold. And then slapping the button. Boom. It's <laughs> good action there. Okay, now we're back to this course, go kart track. And again, underexposed so that I have a larger depth of field. And I'm looking for just things that are obviously not usable. A nice shot there. I have to lighten these up and see the expressions on their faces. It's almost the exact same shot. Okay. Okay, pretty good. He's recognized that I'm shooting. So he was yelling at me. Usually by about the third time going around, they recognize that somebody's taking their picture. They're familiar with the track. They're comfortable with their cart, so they can start to look around and notice what's around them. Okay, that's, he's off the frame. So now I'm in a different part. Basically, I've turned around. And they're coming towards me now. I like this because it feels like you're right there on the track with them. That's a good shot. He's off the frame.
They're really like this. They're all four lined up right in a row. That was very nice. And they're all the same type of cart. Star that one. And this one too. That's kind of the same, same setup. Okay, and here are these again. Pretty much the same place I was last time, trying to get a piece of the track here and then coming around this corner. Oh, and then this guy spun out, so I couldn't take any more photos of him just sitting there. So I walked down the hill and got this part of the track. This is a little bit better, zoomed in a bit. Out of frame. position myself slightly differently so I can see some of this track. And zoomed out so I can crop if I need to. Oops. That's out of frame. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's nothing. Oh, this guy's giving me the peace sign. The last time I did photos at this place, which was about three years ago, I guess, I followed a birthday party around. And one girl in the birthday party constantly kept giving me the same hand signal in every photo. So I had to do some Photoshop work and remove her hand from some of the shots just so I could use them. And this is neat. You see his face here framed. He's got a really good expression. They're like chasing her down. That's good. And that's why I just take shot after shot after shot, because you can't plan something like that. It just is a happy accident. And you'll see back here, this is a very, very small kitty track for, I think, like, maybe four-year-olds, five-year-olds, I'm not sure. And it's just a very slow-moving cart that goes around that track. Nice grouping. And they have little stoplights here that tell you you're next to last lap, and then it turns red when you should be off the track. So I believe this is a new group going around the track. So now I'm trying to get some blurred images. So I've slowed down the shutter speed, which means everything got a lot brighter. And I was trying to follow them with the camera so that they would be sharp and the background would be blurry. It worked okay. And then sometimes it didn't. Those are too blurry to use.
So then I said, okay, that's not working. So I went back to my original settings. That's nice and windblown hair there. And I believe this is my final shot on this track. I was standing on a lower level. And my head was basically even with the track. So they get really close. It's a nice dramatic shot. That's good. That's off the frame. That's off the frame. <laughs> Wish I'd stop clicking the wrong side of my mouse. And this guy's being very silly. Okay, so now I'm on the balcony, shooting down at the beginning of the miniature golf course, and getting a little bit of the rope climbing, the rock climbing. This is an old train track that used to have a train that ran on it, but they, um, they now have a train that is run on wheels and it goes all around the whole park. Just basically different zoom levels for the same shot. Just kind of waiting for them to do something interesting here and get out of the shadows and move. But obviously that's not a good shot. So, I can work with that. And this is kind of a view of the whole park. This is that track I was shooting on just before. And I would stand here, my feet like at this level. And my head would be right here and I would shoot back that way. And you'll see here is that train coming down. way overexposed and out of focus. Terrible shot. I don't know what I was trying to do, but I was not being successful. There we go. So I was trying to bleach out this background so that the train, which is really, really black, would have some kind of detail in it. Then I'm back to walking next to the miniature golf course. There's a huge waterfall here. There's other shots of the water. I was on the other side shooting this way. So now I'm shooting back up. I think those work pretty well. High shutter speed to catch the water. In mid cascade as it comes over the edge. Not sure that's in focus. And this is the logo of the park on the hood of the car. And then this is a birthday party. I think I'm going to skip those. I'm going to go straight to here. Because none of them came out particularly well. But they had some balloons set up. So I did some depth of field work where the balloons in the foreshadow 
where the balloons in the foreground are in focus. And then I changed it so that the balloons in the background were in focus. Some of the food they had there. And then I got a shot of the cake. And then I went back to the balloons. And happy birthday sign. And that is the last of the photos. So I've at least been able to eliminate the very, very terrible ones. And I can get rid of those and then focus on the really good ones that I like. And I may do another video where I do some color correcting in Photoshop of some of my photos I'm actually going to use for some of the print pieces. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. I have many more videos for you guys. Thanks. Bye.